West Palm Beach police say one local school was one of many across Florida victimized by what's now being called swatting. That's where a caller phones in a false alarm with the goal of trying to force police to bring in a SWAT team to the scene. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman with more from Palm Beach Atlantic, where the school and police address the cost of fake 911 calls and frayed nerves. The disturbing call to police came as students at Palm Beach Atlantic were taking final exams. Students described the situation as disruptive and scary. 60 West Palm Beach officers swarmed the PBA campus shortly after a caller reported an active shooter in one building. Students got the word via text. Police activity near West Palm Beach campus. Secure in place, get inside, lock all outside doors. The campus-wide lockdown lasted a few minutes. Dozens of armed officers patrolled outside, catching the eye of freshman Brandon Lee. I've never seen a gun like that big from an officer on a, on a campus before, so... It sounded really serious. The response was serious. The call was a hoax. According to published reports, it was one of nine swatting incidents at campuses across Florida, including one at Indian River Community College in Fort Pierce. West Palm Beach police say the call had to be taken seriously, even if it used so much of its staff. Detectives now looking to find those responsible and hold them accountable. It puts lives on the line of our responding officers and the fear uh, that it instills amongst the students and the school community. That fear left PBA students worried the national wave of gun violence crested on their downtown campus. I definitely did from the severity and seeing all the police officers with their guns. Some people like get really freak out about this stuff. It made me nervous. West Palm Beach police are now working with the FBI to determine who made the call and if the calls to this and other campuses were coordinated. In downtown West Palm Beach, I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.